Hi friends, how are you? By blessings to the God, you are doing well. This is Dr. Arthur Jena. Once again, I am welcoming to all of you to Dr. Ravi Jena classes. So I am hopeful by blessings to the God, you are doing well. So today, friends, uh, we are going to discuss the 30, the best uh, multiple choice question, I mean, the, I mean from the uh, statistics, uh, the business statistics. And uh, so far as this discussion uh, is concerned, so this discussion will be very, very useful, not only to the 12 standard uh, students, but also to the UG and the PG students, uh, so far as the commerce management, MFC, PMR, economics and other related subjects. So this discussion will also be very, very helpful and useful uh, to the aspirants, those who are preparing for the uh, UGC NET, JRF and lecture CV exam. So, so friends, without delay, we will start our uh, discussion. Uh, friends, so we will discuss one by one. So 30 MCQs in each and every MCQ, you will find four uh, alternatives, uh, I mean from the four alternatives, one will be the right option for the respective MCQ. So first one, so this uh, MCQ I have prepared on the demand of my uh, student friends. So uh, we will start our discussion. So first one is uh, who is regarded as or known as the father of statistics. Uh, a. Sir Ronald A. Fisher, B. Adam Smith, C. Sir Peter A. Drucker, D. It's a, the Eugen Fama. Friends, A is the right option. I mean, Sir Ronald Fisher uh, is regarded as or known as the father of statistics. So, A is the right option for this MCQ. So, this image uh, is a Sir Ronald A. Fisher. Uh, next one MCQ, the branches of statistics include the what? A. Descriptive statistics, B. Inferential statistics, C. Industrial statistics, D. Both uh, A and B. Friends, so D is the right option for this MCQ. The branches of uh, uh, statistics include uh, descriptive statistics as well as uh, the inferential statistics. So, D is the right option for this MCQ. So, next one MCQ, two methods of finding mode in a discrete series are what? A, grouping method and ascending method. B, treble method and midpoint method. C, it's the grouping method and inspecting method. And D, it's a none of the above friends. So, C is the right option for this MCQ. Two methods of finding mode in a, a series are grouping method and inspecting method. So next one MCQ to, to calculate the median, all the items of a series are to be arranged in A or A, what? A, descending order, B, ascending order, C, it's a ascending or descending order. D, it's a none of the above. Friends, C is the right option. And the, to calculate the median, the all items of a series are to be arranged in, a, uh, in uh, an ascending order as well as the an, uh, ascending order as well as the descending order. So, C is the right option for this MCQ. To calculate the median, all the items of a series are to be arranged in a descending order as well as an ascending order. So, next one MCQ, mode refers to the value within a series that occurs dash number of a times. A, maximum, B, minimum, C, 0, D, it's in, infinite. Friends, so, A is the right option for this MCQ. Mode refers to the value within a series that occurs the maximum number of times. So, A is the right option for this MCQ. So, next one, MCQ, the values of extreme items do not influence the average for dash A, mean, B, mode, C, median, D, it's none of the above. Friends, so C is the right option for this MCQ. The values of extreme items do not influence the average for median. So next one MCQ, dash is not a measure of a central tendency A, mean, B, median, C, more, 
d it's a standard deviation friends so d is the right option for this mcq so standard deviation is not a measure of a central tendencies so mean median mode are the measure of a central tendency so next one mcq the sum of a deviations from the dash is always zero whether a median b mode c mean d it's in norm of the above friends so c is the right option for this mcq c the sum of a deviation from the mean from the mean is always zero so next one mcq dash divides the data into four equal parts a median b quartiles c its mean d its none of the above friends so quartile i mean the b quartiles divides the data into four equal parts so it's the image of uh, the apples if you will take one uh, an apple every day so you may protect your health and you may not go or you will avoid to doctor so next one mcq it's also very very interesting percentiles divides a series into how many parts a uh, 100 equal parts b uh, 20 equal parts c 50 equal parts d it's 100 equal parts friends so d is the right option for this mcq so percentile divides a series into 100 equal parts so it's the final exam final exam so i i will expect that you will secure 100 marks out of 100 from the statistics paper so all the best to you all so next one mcq which measure of a central tendency possesses the property of a change in origin as well as the change in scale it's a mean b median c mode d it's all the above friends so a is the right option uh, the uh, which measure i mean the mean measure of central tendency possesses the property of changes in origin as well as, as well as the change in scale so mean so mean a is the right option for this mcq so next to what the arithmetic mean of a series is 15 and if 5 is added to all the items in a series the new arithmetic will be the new arithmetic will be what new arithmetic mean will be what a it's 5 b 10 c 15 d 20 Friends, so 20. So new arithmetic mean will be 20. So D is the right option for this MCQ. Again, I am repeating the arithmetic mean of a series is 15. If 5 is added, all the items in a series, then the new arithmetic mean will be 20. So D is the right option for this MCQ. So next one MCQ. Uh, which of the following method is not a which not a method to find the arithmetic mean which so it's a calpiorsons method b shortcut method uh, c it's the direct uh, method d it's the step deviation method friends so a is the right option for this mcq i mean the calpiorson method is not a method to find the arithmetic mean so next one mcq the relationship between mean median mode for a moderately skewed dis- distribution is what a its mode is equal to median minus 2 mean b its mode is equal to 3 median minus 2 mean c its mode is equal to 2 median minus 3 mean d its mode is equal to median minus me friends so b is the right option for this mcq so the relation uh, the relationship uh, the relationship uh, mean median mode for a moderately skewed distribution is what mode is equal to 3 median minus 2 mean in the b is the right option for this mcq so next one mcq uh, mode is mode is the what 
uh, A it's A, the middle most of uh, frequent value, B it's the least frequent value, C it's the maximum frequent value, D is none of the above. Friends, so C is the right option for this MCQ. Mode is the maximum frequent value. So next one MCQ, which of the following statement is true? Which of the which of the following statement is true? A it's extreme scores that have uh, has a effect on median, B its median has a effect on uh, extreme scores, C its um, uh, the mean has a effect on extreme scores, D its extreme scores has effect on mean. Friends, so D is the right option for this MCQ. Extreme score has effect on mean, so it's the the correct, uh, I mean the true step or right statement or true statement. So next one MCQ. Uh, which of the following cannot be determined graphically? A is mean, B median, C mode, D none of these. Friends, so A is the right option for this MCQ. I mean the mean cannot be determined graphically. So A is the right option for this MCQ. So next one, MCQ, the total of all observations divided by uh, the number of observations is called what? is called what? A, arithmetic B, B, it's a harmonic mean, C, ge ge uh, geometric mean, D, it's a media. Friends, so A is the right option. The total of all observations divided by the number of observations is called arithmetic mean. So next one MCQ, which of the following are, which of the following are methods under the measure of dispersion. A. It's a standard deviation. B. It's the mean deviation. C. is the range. And D. It's all the above. Friends, so D is the right option for this MCQ. Standard deviation, mean deviation as well as range are the methods under the measure of dispersion. So D is the right option for this MCQ. Uh, next one MCQ, while calculating the standard deviation, the deviations are uh, only take from where or there. A, it's the mode value of a series, B, median value of a series, C, it's mean value of a series, D, it's the quartile value of a series. So, friends, friends, C is the right option. While calculating the standard deviation, the deviations are uh, only taken from mean value of a series. So, C is the right option. So, next one MCQ, dash and dash are types of measures of dispersion. A, it's the nominal, B, uh, B nominal and relative, C, it's real, relative, D, it's absolute and relative. So, friends, so D is the right option. I mean absolute and relative are types of uh, measures of uh, dispersion. So next one MCQ, the average of squares deviations from uh, the arithmetic mean is known as what? The, again I am repeating the question, the average of square deviations from the arithmetic mean is known as what? A, it's a quartile deviation, B, it's standard deviation, C, it's vari uh, variance, D, it's a, the non of the above friends. So C is the right option. C. The average of square deviation from the arithmetic mean is known as variance. Is known as variance. So next one MCQ. The range represents what? So it's the image of a, uh, it's the image of a Mount Everest. The range represents what? The lowest number. It says B. The highest number. C. It's the middle number. D, difference between the lowest and the highest number. So D is the right option for this MCQ. The range represents the difference between the lowest and the highest number. So next one MCQ, the suitable average for qualitative data is what? That's the uh, suitable average for qualitative data is what? A, it's a mean, B, median, C, mode, D, it's a, a geometric mean. Friends, 
B is the right option for this MCQ. The suitable average for qualitative data is the median. So next one MCQ, which of the following are the characteristics of a good measure of a dispersion? A. It should be easy to calculate. B. Uh, it should be based on all the observation within a series. C. It should not be affected by the fluctuation within the sampling. D. It is all the above. Friends, so D is the right option. So A, B, C. So these are the good characteristics uh, of a good measure of a dispersion. So next one MCQ. If all the observations are multiplied by, sorry, if all the observations are multiplied by 5 within a series, then what will be there? The new standard deviation will be half of the previous standard deviation. Uh, B, the new uh, standard deviation will be multiplied by 5. C, it's the new standard deviation will be decreased by 5. D, it is the new standard deviation will be increased by 5. Friends, so B is the right option for this MCQ. If all the observations are multiplied by 5 within a series, then the new standard deviation will be multiplied by 5. So B is the right option for this MCQ. So next one MCQ. So next one MCQ. Uh, which one is? Uh, of which data is cheaper to collect the data for a resource? Which data? Uh, a, it's a primary data, B, secondary data, C, it's a qualitative data, D, all the above. Friends, so B is the right option. So the secondary data is cheaper to collect for a resource. So it's the library, the students, I mean the boys, so they are reading. Uh, the secondary data is the cheaper sources of data for a resource. So next one MCQ, the resource is going on by the researcher, uh, which is or dash is the data that is collected by a researcher from first hand sources. A, secondary data, B, it's a primary data, C, it's a both A and B, D, it's a none of the above. Friends? So B is the right option for this MCQ. So primary data is the data that is collected by a researcher from first hand sources or first time. So next one uh, MCQ, the variables whose calculation made according to height, length, weight are categorized as what? A, it's a continuous variable. B, it's a measuring variable. C, it's the flowchart variables. D, discrete variables. So, friends, so D is the right option for this MCQ. The variables whose calculation, uh, whose calculation made according to height, length, weight are categorized as a discrete variable. So, D is the right option for this MCQ. So, last but not the least, uh, the vital MCQ. A sample mean is a what? A parameter, B variable, C it's a statistics, D it's a constant. Friends, so C is the right option for this MCQ. Sample mean is a statistics. Friends, so these are all about 30 uh, vital MCQs from the statistics, uh, I mean from the business statistics. So during the discussion, if any mismatch or gap, you will find kindly you give your available comment and a suggestion in the comment section. So far as your uh, comments and suggestions and opinions are most welcome for the next video. So I am hopeful that so now uh, now you have uh, now you have already revised your concepts. So uh, I will have the request to all of you if you have not subscribed my channel, kindly you subscribe my channel, kindly you share it, kindly you forward it. So once again. Thanks a lot to all of you.